Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. And today we're going to be talking about the collapse of the Eaton Tunnel. Now, if you've viewed my videos before or if you're familiar with this area, you know that right in front of me is the Eaton Tunnel. And you also know it is not collapsed. That is because we are not talking about this Eaton Tunnel. This Eaton Tunnel was built in 1963. We are actually going to be talking about the original Eaton Tunnel. Now, some of the details of this are a bit murky, um, so I'm doing my best with what I could find online. The original Eaton Tunnel was built sometime before 1900. Now, in 1963, like many of the tunnels on the North Bend Rail Trail, they were renovating it. Um, for this tunnel in particular, they were trying to lower the train floor so that bigger trains could go through. Now, depending on what source you read, either two or three men were affected by this event, but from what I have personally been able to figure out is one man died during the initial construction and then two other died in the 1960s. Now, in 1963, as they were doing construction and trying to lower this tunnel floor, a cave-in occurred. Arthur Boggs was one of the men in the tunnel. He was rescued and rushed to the hospital. Now, it took 18 hours to recover him from the collapsed tunnel. And eventually he passed away um, at Mount Carmel Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. He was only 24. Now, the other man in the tunnel's name was Harry, but he was also known as Buck. Now, they tried to recover his body for a long time. But as they tried to recover his body, more and more rocks began to fall. Um, after a time period which was not really stated online, they realized that he was dead. There was nothing that they could do. So, they sealed off the tomb, basically making this old tunnel his tomb. Now, there are legends of hauntings and hearing voices in the tunnel. And this tunnel is actually very close to the Silver Run Tunnel. So some of those legends do tie into the ghostly bride at the Silver Run Tunnel. But this is really just an overall tragic story. And they built the new tunnel right next to the old one. And if you haven't already discerned what you're looking at, because it can be hard if you don't exactly know, this is the old tunnel right here. So this was part of the wall here. And this is actually where the tunnel portal was. Now I actually did notice that if someone were extremely skinny, you can technically still get into that old tunnel. Now, I would not recommend that. Um, it is full of water. There are cave-ins. And it's overall not safe. But if you ever come out here to see the Eaton Tunnel, you can come check out the old Eaton Tunnel or the Bee Tree Tunnel. And pay your respects to the two men who lost their lives here. One of which who is permanently entombed inside of this tunnel. So overall, it is really a tragic story. Um, and this little piece of history that I feel like a lot of people do not know. When I first came here, I knew there was a collapsed tunnel. But I do not think I knew that people died in it. And the first time I saw this area over here, I did not realize I was looking at the tunnel. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little piece of history and this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I make new videos every single week, and I will see you guys next week with another video.